Hello and welcome to our home tech. In this video, we're going to show you how you can set up a scanned folder, SMB folder in a Toshiba eStudio machine. So first things, you have to go into that uh, browser uh, and type the printer IP address and go and log in. So log on username is admin and the password is 123456. That's a standard password. If you change, you have to enter the password and go in. So once you log in inside, uh, then you need to go to administrator, uh, administration side then you need to click uh, save as file section from that save as file section you know you need to do a couple of other things uh, the first thing is you need to send scan document to direct to the um, storage path from there you choose that one and also you need to send scan document to the the second one that use network folder from there click on that network folder and also click there are two type of remote one and two you can set two locations or multiple locations here so I'm gonna uh, choose location one uh, and also uh, the third option that you need to do is when you scan uh, don't make creating any subfolders so that's the next thing that you need to do as well further down so once you select remote one so further down here you can see it's like save as a um, save without creating subfolders click on that one once you select further down you can you know set up your remote one and two so i already set up my remote one smb uh, network folder path full network path and also your your unc path and you can give your scan um, username and password which already set in your active directory which is highly recommended to set a different user so i'm going to use a remote two now so i'm going to give the whole share and also I'm going to use the username and password which I have created for the that scan user and also give them uh, right privilege as well you know right access and test the connection uh, once you're ready so make sure if it's a teacher just give them teacher rights if it's an admin user just give them admin rights uh, if you uh, you know once it's ready so just test the connection once the connection is ready it says look it's connected so you've done that part and make sure you go ahead and save it once you save it, next thing is that we need to set up as a uh, template. So go to registration and click template. Pick an empty template and name it whatever you wanted to call it. So I'm, this one, I'm going to call it as admin scan and I'm going to click save it. So go into that, that template and you can select what templates do. So I'm going to click on scan. So click on scan. Uh, I'm going to click that agent and make um click on click on again save. So now in here you can do a couple of other things. You can change how it's going to appear on your on your copy here. So I'm going to click admin and scan. Once it's ready, so we can go and click save as file settings. Once it's ready, you can see we already set up that um, remote path. You just go ahead and you know select that which is already set up on remote one and two. Once it's ready, so you've done your part on your printer side. So make sure you go ahead and uh, click save as well. So once it's ready, I'm going to show you uh, in a while how this is, looks like, how you can um, save um, scanned folder on your printer. So let's go ahead and um, do that. Right, this is how it looks like in our printer. So I'm going to put the um, files to scan first. On the document feeder so you can see go and select scan once you select scan you can see on the top corner there's a template click on the template you can see there are two teacher scan and admin scan which I already set up I'm gonna click admin scan click admin scan file then you're ready just click the scan button on the on the screen or just uh, the physical button once you click and scan it's scanned and already, you know, it's ready to go into your destination folder. Hopefully this video is very helpful. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and also leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching.